from this verse 110 of Prema Bhakti Chandrika, we can see how much devotee needs a faith in the holy name. And someone who has a faith in holy name, he doesn't need anything else. Because in the holy name, everything is infused. It is said that Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is actually goal, sadhya, but also sadhana, the path. So Acharyas are trying to help us, us neophytes, and they are addressing us. Oh, brother, they are trying to be polite, but they are trying to be very kind to us. Oh, brother, please chant these two names, Krishna, he said first Krishna, and then he said Radha. So, in the beginning of spiritual life, of practicing bhakti, many of us are starting with focus on Krishna. And this is okay, because we should understand who is he, and what is his position, and how to attain relationship with him. But as more de devotee is advancing, if he is sincere in the heart, simple in the heart, he will understand that to attain Krishna, he needs a love. It's not only enough to sing Krishna's name, but also it should be done with love. Who really understand this point and accept with all his heart, he is turning towards Shrimati Radhika who is embodiment of Krishna's love. Because he understood, only way to attain a Krishna is through his love. He is running for love, so why should I not run for that same love? And then, he is focused more in Radhika's name. But in one point, again, he comes to the level where he understood crucial, true, that Radha's name cannot be separate from Krishna's name, and Krishna's name cannot be separate from Radha's name. Because name is not only name, name is a person. So, these two persons cannot be separate between each other. But, in our beginning stage of life, spiritual life, we should go slowly to, on the stairs of advancement, and different stages has to be passed. And ultimately, devotee wants to chant the both names <coughs> with great love and affection. And also, he understands all other subjects are not so important. Because through the chanting of the name, I have possibility 
to meditate, to call the barrier of the names, barriers of the name, to call Radhika and Krishna, to pray to them. He understands that those two names are actually Yuga Lakishore, divine, young, loving couple, who has the form, Rupa, who has the sweet qualities, very lovely sweet qualities, and who, this Yugala, they have their sweet <coughs> pastimes. So in the beginning, we are chanting the name, maybe more automatically, because relationship, it's not established. But the more relationship starts, desire for relationship is starting to grow in the heart of devotee, he is chanting with more affection. And this kind of chanting helps him to nourish his bhakti, his devotion, and also chanting with others, like a congregational chanting. We, we say Sankirtana, congregational chanting. And we can see that there are two types of chanting, like bhajan, like deep meditation, but it's also very important to chant with those who also want to attain the same goal. So, I don't want to speak about uh, past experience of many devotees, but it's very important to understand that but first, the most of us are starting with Krishna's name. And by Krishna's mercy, we are coming to Srimati Radhika. And then, through mercy of Srimati Radhika, devotee is able to serve Krishna. Maybe he wants to serve in the mood of Saki, but Gaudiya Vaishnavas wants to serve Radha's Krishna, mm. like Manjaris. Mm. So for them, Radhika is more, more prominent, but they don't want to chant only Radhika's name, because Radhika will be sad. And where is my lover? Why don't you chant the name of my lover? Which kind of maid servant you are? So devotee understands, yes, I will chant the name of your lover only because he is your lover. And I will serve him only because you love him and he is completely subdued to you. This is my chanting of the holy name. And when I, when I am chanting with others, congregational chanting, Deep in my heart, this is meditation. I'm glorifying my Radhika and her beloved Mama. So all other subjects are not important. <laughs> because hmm. what to add on this? Everything is present in Maha Mantra. All mantras are present in Maha Mantra. But this is gradual process, which is slowly but surely changing and melting the heart of devotee. And for that he needs a proper association. So I said something, Jan Andraji is not coming, but by his mercy and Gurudev's mercy, 
Maybe we can continue, because very important points Anantadas Babaji is speaking about. The style of Yugala worship, Sudakanika Vyakya. In the previous Tripadi, the blessed author expressed his wish not to hear the name of those who simply worship Sri Krishna while slick, slitting, slitting Sri Radha. So, keeping her on the side. Mm -hmm. He, he doesn't want to hear the name of those persons mm -hmm. who are not accepting Radhika, mm -hmm. who are refusing the Radhika. They are devotees. But Narottam Das Thakur is using very sharp words and saying this kind of persons are actually hypocrites because they want God without his love. Mm. And this is the greatest hi hypocrisy. I want you, my dear friend, but without your love. Mm. <laughs> so it means that I have quite a lot of desires, <clears throat> materialistic desires, mm. and I'm not interesting at all for your emotions your emotional needs, mm. what you love. I, I'm also not interested in serving to you. I'm interested only to get from you, right? To get. Yeah. This is hypocrisy. Mm. And Acharyas, Acharyas knows psychology, mm. which is behind this, just to force the Krishna name, and put Radhika aside. They know the state of the heart, the state of the consciousness, the state of the mind. Don't do this. You will never attain God in whichever form you have, want, without his love. Mm -hmm. Radhi. Maybe Pudava is there and our Chandra, maybe they want to say that. Ah, okay. Ah, Udavaji, I see you now. And please share something whenever you feel. Uh, Gora Chandra, please. Whenever you feel to say something, please just say. Yeah. We beg you. Dayanidi or who is ever. I cannot see. <coughs> here. Sri Pad, Raghunatha, Das Goswami Pad has also defined such persons as proud and deceitful, deceitful, sorry, and has accepted the vow to stay far away from their impure association. They took a vow. Not even that they say this kind of hypocrites, I don't want to associate them. They took a vow because they want to show us Neophytes, who doesn't have proper discrimination, what can destroy our spiritual life? I remember Bhaktivinoda Thakur also, he has a few songs that he's taking a strong vow. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, here the question may be raised. Is the company of those who only worship Sri Krishna, but who follow the Nitya Sita people of Praja in pers um, per pursuit of servanthood, fraternal love or elderly love, also rejectable then? So are those people who have a motherly or friendly love are also then to be reject? Perfect question. No. Expecting such a question, the blessed author now says, those who truly take shelter of Sri Krishna's worship can never slicked, sliked Sri Radha or be averse to her. For by singing Sri Krishna's name, Sri Radha's lotus feet are attained. Everyone in their own mood, of course. Here, the word Radhika Charana are to be read in a devotional way. Therefore, it means here the attainment of Sri Radharani herself. So, all Rajavasis are also deeply attached to Sri Radhika. It doesn't matter in which rasa they are, in which relationship they are, because they love Krishna. And they know how much Krishna loves Radhika. And it's very simple. If you love someone, immediately you love his beloved. This is natural pro process of emotions. So all Rajavasis, like Shimati Radhika, <coughs> they, they are very happy to be in her association. They are very happy to do some seva for her. Because they love Krishna. So naturally, they love also Srimati Radharani. Mm. This is natural. Gurudev is saying so many times, if you want to know one person, go to her beloved, to her husband or to his wife. And he or she will tell you in more detail who is this person? But in a lovely way, so that every that we can enter more deeply in our relationship with that person. So it's not possible to separate Radha and Krishna. Mm. And those who really loves Radhika. Uh, and loves Krishna, they naturally are also attached to Shimati Radhika. We know from the verses of Vilapa Kusumanjali, this is the couple of verses where Radhika arrived in the Nandagram, how Mother Yashoda is receiving her. Like Krishna, <laughs> she is crying, the milk from her breasts has come out. She is fondling Radhika like her own daughter. Because Yashoda is embodiment of motherly love. 
and deep in the heart, she knows that his son likes this girl the most. All mothers know this secret. <laughs> no one can hide this secret from mothers. And also, Mother Yashoda, in the same manner, likes manjaris. She's putting in the lap small manjari, small duty, duty, like a messenger manjari, and asking her, how is your Swamini, how is my daughter Radhika? Please tell me. And in the same time, Mother Yashoda is simply expressing all love to Radhika's maidservant because she loves Radhika so much. <laughs> so we can see here when we chant this holy name with this attitude, this consciousness, with these feelings, Maha Mantra sa starts to have completely deeper and deeper, deeper meanings, which are unlimited. So uh, our Acharyas are giving uh, hints here. Can I join the conversation? Of course, we are waiting for you. <laughs> first of all, first of all, my dear Garanga, I'm, I'm so, so I'm so happy to hear that uh, Radharani has taken shelter in your sinuses. <laughs> Why you think like this? She's uh, safely there, giving her love to the inside of your nose. <laughs> you are so kind. <laughs> And second, uh, it just makes me so calm and so um, it opens my heart just to hear your voice, my dear. I just it doesn't matter what you say. Just when you speak, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but then I had a I had a thought about um, sometimes we're surprised. Sometimes we're confused that um, Radha Mohan is two. Two souls, one body. But it's, I, for me, the more I think, when I think about this all the time, <laughs> the more I think about the miracle of Mahaprabhu. Hmm. Is that before Mahaprabhu, love was jnana, love was an abstract concept, love was an idea. And Mahaprabhu <laughs> makes possible the, for us to understand that love is uh, an action. That the meaning of God is not love, but loving. And this is, of course, what our Guru Dev, dear Guru Dev teaches us when he teaches us the concept of love in action. It means that love doesn't sit still ever. It doesn't, it's not a picture, you know, you hang on the wall or a, a book you put in the bookshelf. It's moving. It's flowing. It's passing from one to the other. It's always growing. It's always changing. It's always fresh. It's always new. So the sense of Radha Mohan is that it's a dynamic, moving, living, loving, not just an abstract idea. So whenever... Yeah, Sorry, I hope I'm not off the message here, but uh, I think whenever I feel that it gets a bit, you know, 
philosophical. Then I remember that there's two. And that the love is going from the one to the other. And that those two is a, those two rather more is a, is a model for how that's, we, how we need to live our lives. Flowing, love going from one to the other. Not just sitting around meditating about love, but actually doing love. Yeah. Actually, love is always present in all yugas, but not such kind of love which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu brought in Kali Yuga. As we can see, all supreme personality of God has different avatars, different forms are male, but also female is present just beside of them. So it means that there is love also in Lakshmi Narayan to the certain point. Sitaram, we say Sitaram, we, know, we don't say Ram Sita. <laughs> Isn't it? We so do you say, Lakshmi. my dear? So do you say that these are the presence of Radha Mohan? Yes, but yeah. without love, no one can attain any form of God. No one mm. can attain Narayan without love. Mm. It must be some certain point, some certain percentage of love. Mm. And devotees in that age. They have to receive the mercy of that love, particular love, so that they can approach this particular form. Is uh, Narayan or Ramachandra yeah, yeah. or uh, yeah. so devotees in that age, as I understand, needs and they are praying to female aspect of that particular avatar. Of course, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we are listening, we are able to know about the ultimate love, which is present in the Radha and Krishna. And this is a special gift because he gave us opportunity to be the maidservants of Sri Radhika. Mm. But love, prema, is present everywhere. And prema brings all different avatars to devotee, to the certain point, and devotee to his Ishtadev. Yeah. So this is, this is Hladini Shakti. Yeah. Without Hladini Shakti, no one can attain Supreme Personality of Godhead, whoever is. And yeah. the most intense activity or function, philosophically to say, <laughs> function of Hladini Shakti is present in Vraja. So this is tattva, but we say rade, not so much Kladini Shakti, but to understand, it, lo it mm -hmm. goes like this. Absolutely, absolutely. And look at her in the room there, all the avatars of uh, love sitting around you. There's at least a half a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> so this male and female nature is always here. Word, uh, uh, spiritual world exists because of that. Material world exists because of that. Electricity is functioning because this plus and minus. Mm. You know, everywhere is like this. Yeah. You cannot put your fan without minus or without plus. 
It must be together. Then yeah. fan will work. We went so long not understanding this, my dear. All the thousands of years of Christianity and Judaism, and we just said God is love. And it was only with Mahaprabhu we understood that God is, you know, the flow of love, the movement of love, the giving of love, surrendering of love. Because this is the most sublime love, which yeah. is present in Raja. <laughs> then the more and more sublime is relation, loving relationship between Sakis, Gopis, and Krishna, and unlimited love between Radha and Mohan. And this is special Kripa of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. That we, That's Kali Yuga Jivas, can you imagine, my dear, Kali Yuga mm. Jivas, completely low. It's crazy. We are, talk mm -hmm. we are talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fortunate souls we are. So auspicious. It's just amazing. You know, we, we don't even think it. <laughs> yes. But we should appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Radhe, Radhe. I'm sorry. Radhe, Radhe. Those who are devotees in Praja's servant mood or fraternal mood are all devoted to Srimati. Knowing her to be Sri Krishna's greatest worshipper amongst the devotees the fraternal love there are the Priya Narma Sakas like Subal and Mangala, uh, Madhumangala who have a special place in serving Sri Radharani as Krishna Priya in uh, Madhurya Ras. They have some small entrance because they are most confidential friends, Sakas of Krishna. And they have some small little entrance in this Madhurya. But boys are boys. <laughs> they are not interesting about it. They are doing, they are making some connections with Radhika just to help Krishna in different circumstances. Mm -hmm and then run away because they don't have interest about this but because they are priya narma sakis they make some narma jokes with his best friend and they know whom he loves mm. for example we have one friend and he has a lot of friends but just few of us knows in whose in which girl he felt in love. Mm. And these kind of friends are so close actually. Not colleagues in the company, mm. in the factory, in the shop or something. But just the one, two, three close, very close friends knows deep secret of the heart. Mm -hmm. So this Madhu Mangal Subal, they are making some, but not to this kind of, I don't know, intention. Because they are, this is not their bhava. They're not interesting. <laughs> There's no place for them and they don't want place. So this is rasa. We should understand rasa, friendships, friendship rasa, or other rasas, relationship. And we can see it's completely natural because it's nara lila, like a human. Who will understand the relationship with 
devotees and other avatars from previous yugas, ages, and so on. <laughs> they can sound interesting, mystical, and so on. But we cannot relate with this. I don't want God with so many heads, so many hands, with so many mystic powers, which I'm afraid of that. I don't like this God. And Arjuna said, it's the same thing. Okay, okay, forget it, what I wanted, you know, to see your universal form. So that's the point. This is the beauty of Nara Lila, that we can relish it. The devotees in parental love that follow Nanda and Yashomati are understood to have equal parental love for Srimati as for Sri Krishna. That's the mood of parents. They like Krishna, but they like Radhika because they know that her son likes her so much. He, he will and, be loved. Yeah. It's also, although it is Paraki above between Radha and Krishna, but the mother deeply in the heart knows that, <laughs> that Gopal is very attracted to this beautiful, sweet girl. So, again, we are coming to the point of natural relationship. We can talk about, we can relate. Therefore, those who worship Sri Krishna, but who sl slicked Sri Radharani, or are averse to her, will never meet with success in their worship of Sri Krishna. That How we can attain Krishna without Radha? How we can be free from Aparada if we are not chanting Radha, Radha? Without chanting Radha, always be some Appa Radha. Mm -hmm. Offense. But in love, there is no offense. Mm -hmm. This is the beauty of love. In every relationship, is no aparada in between husband and wife. No aparada between lovers, hidden lovers. Which kind of aparada? <laughs> Social aparada? They don't care for that. It's not so, even, I mean, uh, here, let me say something really radical and you tell me if I'm wrong. That it's not even about Krishna, about Krishna it's about loving Krishna. Yeah. The point is, yeah. So, That's this it. is the reason, this is the difference between bhakti, keval bhakti, pure bhakti, and difference between yoga, jnana, karma. For example, persons who are very attached to the karma, they have to do, do different yagyas, vows, and everything must be paka, perform mantras, and so on and so on, these rules, regulations, rituals. But if one letter is pronounced wrongly, the result can be completely opposite. But in bhakti, this is not the case. Bhakti is independent from all these possible mistakes. So this is the sublime and unique position of pure kevala bhakti, love. Chandravali is very fearful to stand 
on Krishna's feet during the rasa dance. She is holding him with little distance. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to um, bring him close to me. Maybe something will happen. I'm always looking down, not to step on his feet. But Radhika doesn't care about this. He wants to step on his feet. That he is dancing together with her. You know, so this is the difference in different kinds of love, intensity of love, and automatically relationship. No mistake in love. But so much mistakes can be done, especially in Kali Yuga. Who can pronounce all these mantras, you know, properly? <coughs> Tell me. <laughs> no one. But in Bhakti there is no mistake. Bhakti is completely independent of that. And it can come according to her will, even to the liar, to the murderer, to the thief. Because this is my Swamini. Her Hladini Shakti is penetrating in the heart of everyone who she choose. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. It's, it's written here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After all, the Mahajanas say, O oh brother, by singing Krishna's name, you will attain the lotus feet of Radhika. Then again, if someone worships Sri Radha and not Sri Krishna, then their worship of Sri Radharani is also not understood to the proper. For those who sing the name of Radha will most certainly attain Krishna. The Yugala Nama is the mantra that is matter, matter, ma, materially, maturely attracting to them. In this age of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu and the Vaishnava Acharyas that have surrendered unto his lotus feet have blessed the people of this era by preaching the most intimate worship of the divine pair that was not attainable by the people of the previous ages. This is what Udavaji said. In previous ages it was not possible to attain this kind of love. And it, one thing is, the person who is chanting just Krishna's name, who knows where he will end? Because he is following Krishna. <laughs> Krishna goes everywhere. <laughs> and Krishna is everywhere. <laughs> Would you like to be in one planet where Krishna is in some form? He will bring you there in some strange form. But this is what prema means, my dear. Where will it end? It yes. grows forever. Yes. But prema is focused on Krishna, only on Krishna. 
Yeah. Makes Krishna dance, makes devotee drinks, she dance, and three of them are dancing in the same place. So Krishna is running everywhere where there is love. But the embodiment of his love is focused one point and only on him. So this is the great mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That we can be one pointed by Radhika's mercy and serve her beloved Yugala. <laughs> mm. What are you saying? If you follow just Krishna, <laughs> you will be nowhere, you know. <laughs> mm, he can bring it to Dwaraka any place. Any place. He's everywhere. <laughs> Who knows which kind of Vaikuntha planets are mm. existing? Yeah. We, we, maybe we will be horrified actually with this. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm speculating. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't. Why I'm saying this? Because I don't want even to think about this. Mm. <laughs> For them. This worship is very easily attainable. Through the chanting of Radha Krishna's holy name. The 16 word, 32 syllable Hare Krishna Nam Bhajan that was preached by Srima Mahaprabhu's divine mouth day and night is the Sri Radha Krishna 16 name Avanat Maka Mantra Ahavan Ahavanat Maka Mantra or mantra in fourth vocal case. Vocative. Uh, it's vocative. Case. Vocative. It means I'm calling. I'm calling you, my dear. I'm calling your name. Please. It's these verses that start with hey. Hey, you. Hey. Yes. Hey, you. Hey, please. Like addressing. Addressing. Yes. Mm. Yes, addressing. Addressing. This we have previously men mentioned. After this, the blessed author says, I told you all this briefly. The Yuga Dharma, religious duty, for the age of Kali is Narma Sankirtana. This is the essence. The holy name of the Lord is transcendental, just like Lord himself. Since the holy name and its bearer are none different from each other. Yeah, this is the most important thing to understand that name and the person behind that name are the same. If we think because this is not materialistic person, automatically it's not that his name or her name is materialistic. And when we say Radhe or Radha Krishna, Radha Mohan or whatever, it requires strong faith that they are not different from their names. And we need mercy to accept it, this strong faith. And through this faith, chanting will go more smoothly. Mm. 
directed devotee to the barriers of the name. This is a mysterious fact of the transcendental name. Because if you say my karmi name, you know, this name is completely different from me. <laughs> Peter, Klaus, John. It doesn't explain anything. Or maybe in some languages he's explaining. But it's completely different. I will not hear you. You can call and call and call, but I will not hear you. So this is vocative. You are calling me, but I'm not hearing you. Because the name and my personalities are different. Mm. But in the transcendental names and transcendental personalities, they are immediately there. Especially when this calling is done with love, affection, and the desire to be close with these personalities. For them, this is not at all any problem to come in America in one partial of second. If we call them with love and greed. But if you call me in America, nothing will happen, you know. <laughs> so this is... And it's... I remember Bhakti Nautaku was saying, actually, that one of the main condition is this understanding. Main condition for chanting properly the holy name is to understand that there is no difference between name and person. Prabhupada is also stressing many times. And maybe we have some difficulties to put it together because we don't have experience. But we Can I need ask to... something? Oh. Yes, uh, I don't know who is he. Balaram. Oh, Balaram. Oh, Balaram. Rade, Rade. Um, I just wanted to ask that it needed the name needed to be said or thought about with love. So is it more that the love is attracting the, the name or is it the name and the love or how, how is the relation between the name and the love? Because I, I've understood now that maybe it's more more important that the love is there. Thank you, Baram. Uh, we can call the name transcendental from transcendental personality. Rade Rade. But we can do it on mechanical way. And this is not so attractive, neither for Radhika, neither for Krishna, neither for Goranga, neither for Nittai, neither for Gurudev also. If we are doing just like duty, just like a ritual practice, but if we put and invest love, emotions in this calling, then for sure they will hear. So we know this story when Krishna is try, trying to bring Radhika close to him. But in meantime, Manjari or Sakya, I forgot, they hide Radhika in the next Kunja. Because Manjaris, they wanted to show Radhika how much Krishna loves her. And then Krishna was praying, where is my Radhe, Radhe, please come, come. Then Gopis, they told him, you should chant her name. And Krishna started to chant. But nothing happened. 
Radhika didn't appear. Then Gopi said, yes, but uh, you have to do it with more attention and affection. You cannot just go around and just sing her name, but with full love and attention. And Krishna started to do it. But after some time, nothing happened. Then he asked, why my Radhika is not appearing? Oh, Krishna, because you are doing offenses. How to be free from these offenses? We should chant together and you should clap your hands to remove your offenses. Sankirtana, in the association of Sakis, Radha Sakis. is showing Krishna how much affection, how much love he has to have by chanting Radha's name. And when all Lila starts, and ecstasy and sound of the singing of Radha's name pervade all Raja, the Radhika appear to the from the neighbor Kunja. And Krishna finally saw <clears throat> the goal of his life, embodiment of this name. So, Krishna here is giving us, through this Lila, example how to chant Radha's name but also how to chant holy name, how to chant all mantras with full love and affection. So, Bharama, I hope that I, what I said came to you. <laughs> I, I remember that Not so automatically, mm. like machine. Put one coin inside and da 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 no, no, no. Just with full love and emotions. Mm. Always remembering the beauty and sweetness of Swamini and her beloved. I remember also um, one time Gurudev was sharing about this topic. And just we were reading now that when you chant the Maha Mantra, it's like a calling out. You're calling some personality to your home or to your place. And can you imagine you call somebody to your home and you don't pay attention to that person? You're doing some other things. You invite some person to your home and you are busy making some office work or thinking something, cleaning. <laughs> that person will not feel very comfortable. Maybe he will go quickly. But you invite a person, you call a person to your home by chanting and you show too much affection and love and then can be an exchange of loving feelings, no? like you do, you give and you exchange the love, you invite and you will have a great time together if you pay attention and with love and devotion. No? You don't treat your guest like a impersonal, very personal and loving. You treat the guest, you, you have a relationship, no? So like this, we have to feel, Gurudev was saying that when we do chapa, not like impersonal, but very personal, we have to feel this, what Goranga uh, Sundara was just explaining, and it was written here, <coughs> that actually we're calling them and their name and their personality is not different. So we have to really understand that they are there when we are chanting. Otherwise, they will not feel comfortable 
to to sit with us. Yeah. Why should do that? Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> just some Yeah, little I want to say something just some words only. Ha, Sachinanda. Radhe radhe. Radhe radhe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those who are beginners like me, a completely uh, fallen person. They need I think little time really when you chant you need to focus or you need to meditate this is but this it is called that utsa when you started then your utsa means your endeavor should not be little less means if mind is saying oh my god what is this hands are not when uh, beats are not moving at one place but we should not leave this it is said by practicing this one day it comes and slowly slowly meditation is there mind is there radha rani lotus feet also there in front of the eyes of the devotee the yugala deities are also there and other leela spurani is also there but not i this my person i am i am saying maybe some uh, more knowing persons are or you people are there you can say something is but i think that slowly slowly when you do continuously without interrupting or without stopping then one day it, it happens that you start first focusing the meditation is there and then the chanting is also slowly slowly is more time what you are chanting whatever that your meditation is completely there like in chandan charimata mata it is said that suite khaite chalite bethite um what is the i'm forgetting krishna naam loy tahe janiye sarva siddhi hoy it is like mm. this um, mahaprabhu said in chetan chetta mit somewhere doesn't matter what are you doing but it should not if you chanting should not stop by mm. this your practice becomes more intense and the time comes that even by you are doesn't matter what you are doing but your meditation is there and your chanting you can listen your mantra what you are chanting and uh, it uh, more and more continuity means without stopping like today you did this oh i didn't do then today is some more round like this or not round then timing of the chanting is also there that you are calculating that my timing in chanting was little much so definitely i did something not like others but yeah also gurudev many times said that if you are counting a lot then definitely some proud is there oh my god today i this did this then you started also talking with the people that how much you are doing asking people that how much how many rounds you did today it's like this it happens but yeah of course the name and the personality are not different they are same it's true thank you very much to listen me radhe radhe sachin so nice so nice that you are participating you are lighting us yeah radhe, um, please do it work. more save your brother dai ho dai ho radhe radhe and i think my dear i'm learning from all of you thank you it's gurudev's mercy that i'm able to say something <laughs>